at carpet cleaning in your buildings, the very most critical thing is walk-off mats. You know that 90% of the dirt of the building comes in the front front door, 90%, okay? But you know that it costs $600 to remove one pound of dirt once it enters the building. That's the cost, the real time cost. Because it gets sprayed through the air conditioning units, bums up the filters, it decreases the efficiency of it. But a lot of places don't put in walk-off mats. You've got quite a few, and because they want to save money. But that saving money is actually false, because it's letting more dirt into the building. As spot vacuuming, spot removal, vacuuming, interim carpet care, historic carpet care, walk-off mats. So if you actually clean carpets on a regular basis, you extend the life of the carpet. So the Carpet and Rug Institute may estimate that a commercial carpet will have seven years of life, but you can actually increase the life of that carpet by cleaning it more regularly. And the most regular thing to do is vacuum. Okay? And if you do that, you can extend the life of the carpet. Well, if the carpet costs 200000 for a building, and that's not unrealistic, and if you can extend the replacement of it one year, you save the institution money. If you can, and sometimes I've seen carpet life double extend. That means you save 200000 in the carpet replacement. So, and that helps the facilities operation as a whole because we're in it together. So, so matting, okay, is an exterior mat, a vestibule mat, and a main lobby mat. In some of your buildings, you can have that. Some of you can. Some of the buildings are not built to do that. All right. Some of the doors are so close to the ground that you can't get a mat near them. You open the door and catch the mat. You know. So, so, but under an ideal world, that's what would occur. So that's one of the types of things that we have to encourage our interior. Okay, let's, let's just look what's happened. So carpet care. There's lots of carpet in your buildings, and I know it'll probably, you'll get lots more carpet. People like carpet, all right? It's, it keeps the area uh, more, more more comfortable. It deadens the sound and all of those sorts of things. But it contributes to the total cost of ownership, how much it costs to maintain a building. So it's, by doing good carpet care, it keeps the dirt out of a building. It's more expensive uh, to keep it out, but if you have to remove it, it's actually more expensive. Uh, avoid damage to the floor. So for instance, you get soil coming into a building. If you've got terrazzo tile, terrazzo tile is the most expensive flooring to install. But if you don't have the floor sealed with the floor finish, and salt walks in, the salt will etch that floor finish, and eventually cause a crack. So if you've destroyed the floor, or the weather and the elements have destroyed the floor, but a floor finish would have helped extend it. So that's a you know, prolonged HVAC system, the air conditioning system. You want the most efficient. Uh, Mr. O'Connor was telling me that they save, save over 20% of their energy now to energy controls. However, if the, if the HVAC system filters get dirty, it, it minimizes the flow of air, which increases the cost, which in part could be directly related to how the buildings are clean. Uh, it improves indoor air quality. Uh, in the K through 12 school systems, a lot of research has been done by Dr. Berry, who actually is our, at the University of Arizona and also the University of North Carolina, and he's done extensive research, and they found out that dirty buildings, or in other words, dirt that gets into buildings, causes indoor air quality and it shows up in absenteeism of students. Okay? So it's not kept in the students get sicker and then they're absent more. 